Union Test Prep's Mathematics Practice Test for the HESI exam. Please note, there will be a brief 5 second pause after answer choices are given. This is a good time to pause the video to solve. Question 1. To the nearest tenth of a percent, what is one fourth of 83%? A. 20.7% B. 20.8% C. 32.1% or D. 20.1% The correct answer is B, 20.8%. You are being asked to multiply 1 fourth by 83%. In decimal form, 1 fourth or 1 over 4 equals 0 0.25. When multiplying numbers that contain decimals, move the decimal to the right far enough to make each decimal number a whole number. Then multiply as you normally would. 83 times 25 equals 2,075. Next, move the decimal in your answer back to the right the total number of places you moved it to the left when you converted both of your decimal numbers. Since we moved the decimal a total of two places to the left for 0 0.25, we must move it two places to the right to get 20.75. Question two. For each ounce of a fluid solution, there are four milligrams of a certain type of drug. How many milligrams of the drug are there in a gallon container that is half full of the given solution? A. 256 B. 128 C. 512 or D. 1024 The correct answer is A. 256 Since the gallon container is 128 ounces full, there are 1 half times 128 equals 64 ounces of the solution in the container. There are 4 milligrams per ounce, so there are 4 times 64, which equals 256 milligrams of the drug in the container. Question 3. Approximately how many ounces are there in an IV bag that is 2.5 liters? A. 40 B. 80 C. 85 or D320. The correct answer is C85. There are about 33.8 ounces in 1 liter. Since there are 2.5 liters, we must multiply 33.8 by 2.5. 33.8 times 2.5 equals 84.5, or 85 to the nearest ounce. Answer B uses a conversion of quarts to ounces, and answer D uses a conversion of gallons to ounces. Question 4. Convert the military time of 1625.30 hours to standard time. A. 625.30 p.m. B. 425.30 p.m. C. 1225.30 a.m. Or D. 1225.30 p.m. The correct answer is B. 425.30 p.m. Military time works on a 24-hour clock, so any time after 12 p.m. can be found by subtracting 12 from the given military time. So, 16.25.30 minus 12 gives us our time of 4.25.30. Since we are after 12 p.m., our time is 4.25.30 p.m. in standard time. Question 5. You only paid 70% for a sweater that originally sells for $25. How many dollars was the sweater discounted? A. $12.25 B. $17.50 C. $2.25 or D. $7.50 The correct answer is D. $7.50 Since you only paid 70% of the original price of the sweater, you received a 30% discount. Now, 30% of 25 is 0 .30 times 25, which equals 7.5 or $7.50. Question 6. Out of 100 patients, there are 36 males and 64 females. What is the ratio of males to females? A. 16-9 B. 16-25 C. 9-25 or D. 9-16 The correct answer is D. 9-16 While there are a total of 100 patients, we are only concerned about the number of males to the number of females. The ratio is males females or 36 64. Reducing our ratio by 4, we get 36 over 4 to 64 over 4, which equals 916. Question 7. You make $17.50 per hour working in an office for a 40 hour work week. For any time work past 40, you are paid time and a half. How much did you make in the week you worked 52 hours? A. $910. B. $1,015. C. $1,365 or D. $1,260.
The correct answer is B, $1,015. You work 12 hours where you are paid time and a half, so you are paid $17.50 times 1.5, which equals $26.25 per hour. Combining the amount paid for 40 hours work and the amount made for the additional 12 hours worked, we get the answer of 1015 Question 8. You work Monday through Friday. On Monday and Tuesday, you see 25 patients each day. On Wednesday and Thursday, you see 20 patients. And on Friday, you see 15 patients. What is the average number of patients you see on a given workday? A. 20 B. 24 C. 21 or D. 17 The correct answer is C. 21 the average number of patients seen each day equals total number of patients over number of days. You have seen a total of 25 plus 25 plus 20 plus 20 plus 15, which equals 105 patients in 5 days. So the average number of patients on a given workday is 105 over 5, which equals 21. Question 9. Simplify this equation. A. 17 B. 30 C. 143 or D, 655? The correct answer is C, 143. Following the order of operations, or PIMDAS, we get the following. Question 10. It takes a coworker 40 minutes to complete the same task that you can perform in 30 minutes. To the nearest minute, how long will it take to complete the same task working together? A, 35, B, 17, C, 20, or D, 32. The correct answer is B, 17. Your coworker completes 1 40th of the task each minute, and you complete 1 30th of a task each minute. If together you complete the task in M minutes, then your coworker will have completed 1 40th times M, which equals M over 40 of the task, and you will have completed 1 30th times M, which equals M over 30 of the same task. Working together, you complete the whole task, so M over 30 plus M over 40 equals 1, where 1 represents the one whole task. Solving for M, we get the following. So M equals 17 to the nearest minute. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the HESI exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash HESI exam.